This video is about Seed Studio's new Arduino sensor kit. The idea of the kit is to have a learning and prototype platform that comes on a single board. I will compare it to the very similar Groove Beginner kit that I presented some time ago. Moreover, I will have a look whether the Arduino sensor kit can also be used with an ESP32. Okay, let's start with the basic idea of the board. The board has 10 modules that are already pre-wired to this Arduino shield, the so-called Groove Base Shield. The shield is supposed to be put on top of an Arduino. So without the need for wiring, you can now use the modules. The labels indicate which pin corresponds to which module. When I had a first look at the board, it reminded me a lot of the Groove Beginner Kit. Both come from Seed Studio. The main difference is that the Groove Beginner Kit comes with an integrated Seeduino Lotus microcontroller. As mentioned before, the sensor kit comes with a shield instead of a microcontroller. So the Arduino sensor kit might be the better option if someone already owns an Arduino or wants to stick with a conventional one. As soon as I received the kit, I tried out my light intensity example from my previous video. When I compiled and transferred the program, I realized that it does not work anymore. The reason is that the pin layout changed a bit. The LED pin went from D4 to D6, the button pin went from D6 to D4, and the light sensor pin from A6 to A3. As soon as I updated the pin definitions in my source code, my light intensity example worked again. So overall my impression is basically the same as for the Groove Beginner Kit. The kit is a good choice if you want to focus only on programming and want to put aside the wiring. As there's basically nothing new to add to my previous video, I thought about how could I spice up this video. While thinking, one question came to my mind. Is it also possible to use an ESP32 based microcontroller with this sensor kit? You might ask yourself, why does this matter? So I think a lot of people start with an Arduino and then go on with an ESP8266 or ESP32. And of course I know that also Arduino Uno variants with Wi-Fi exist. However, I still think many people choose an ESP-based microcontroller as next step. In such cases, it would be nice if you could just reuse your Arduino sensor kit. Next, the idea is to make the light intensity example work for an ESP32 dev kit. First, we have to make sure that the pins of the Arduino sensor kit do not take any damage. This can be done by using the piece of foam that came with the package. By the way, I got a non-antistatic foam. That means current can't flow through the foam from one pin to another pin. So everything is okay. A short circuit is very unlikely. If you are not sure about your foam, then just use something else. Okay, we have to do some wiring between the ESP32 and the Arduino sensor kit. So yes, from here, the idea of no wiring is gone. When I do wiring work with an ESP32, I use two breadboards since a single breadboard is not wide enough for the ESP32. Now the wiring starts. We will make use of these female pins as they are already wired to the modules. For example, this female pin is D6, which goes to the LED module. Please note that I have an ESP32 dev kit version 1 here. The presented wiring might be different from your ESP32 dev kit, if you have not the same one. Okay, here we are. I did the pre-wiring for the ESP32 off-camera to save some time. For the LED module, the wiring goes from pin 16 of the ESP32 to the shield pin D6. For the button, from pin 14 to D4. For the light sensor, from pin 13 to A3. For the buzzer, from pin 15 to D5. The OLED display works with I2C communication. For my setup, I have to wire pin 22 to SCL and pin 21 to SDA. Also important is to connect ground to ground and 3.3V to 3.3V. Luckily, the Grove base shield has a switch to switch from 5V mode to 3.3V mode. And that's it about the wiring. The next step is to modify the source code. Here we have to do only small changes. So we have to change the pin definitions. LED is now 16, button is 14, light sensor is 13, 
and buzzer is 15. Moreover, we have to make another change. The analog read function is different from the Arduino to the ESP32. For the ESP32, a number between 0 and 4095 is returned, and we have to consider this in the map function. That's it, now it should also work for an ESP32. Okay, I transferred the code to the ESP32. And here's how it works. The higher the amount of light, the higher the frequency of the LED turning on, turning off. If I cover the light module completely, the LED pattern is very slow. And now it's much faster. If I press the button, the buzzer is active, having the same pattern as the LED. Due to the lower voltage, the buzzer became very quiet, but it's still working. Okay, that was my overview on the Arduino sensor kit. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and bye.